I absolutely love viewer questions, and today's question comes from a viewer who watched my two camera live stream setup and wanted to know if you could use two cameras in the same scene with OBS. The answer is yes, I'm going to show you how to do it and tell you why you might want to do it. OBS is just amazing, isn't it? Let's get to it. To start out, we're going to add a new scene. That's really simple. Under Scenes, you click the plus button. Put the name of your scene in and click OK. Next, we're going to add sources for our scene, so we're going to go down and click the plus button under Sources. Select Video Capture Device. I'm going to call this device DSLR and click OK. Under Device, I'm going to drop it down and select Cam Link number 2. That's my DSLR. Then I'm going to select the preset as high, which will set it to my canvas, which right now is 1920 by 1080. Then I click OK on that. Next, we're going to add an audio device. To do this, I click the plus button in Sources once again, and I select Audio Input Capture. And I'm just going to call this one DSLR Cap. Under Devices, I select the cam link. That's what's hooked up to my DSLR. And now our scene has one camera and audio. And here's the fun part. We're going to add a second camera. So I click that plus button under Sources again. I go into Video Capture Device. I'm going to call this one Web Dis and click OK. Then under Devices, I'm going to select my webcam. I'm going to change the preset to high so it fits it to my canvas area. And then I click OK. You can see the second camera comes up on top of the screen. It's displaying a sheet of paper with a couple of pens. And of course, there's my hand in there with the mouse. What I want to do now is move my DSLR camera on top of the other image. So I select the DSLR camera in the Sources window. I go down to the bottom of the Sources window and I click the little up arrow until my DSLR camera is above my webcam. Then I take the top left corner and I just drag it down so it's a little screen down in the bottom right hand corner. You can see this would be hugely beneficial for anyone who does crafts or something like that during a live stream. Now I'm going to create another scene and we're going to do this exactly the same as the first. We're going to add my DSLR, then we're going to add audio, and then we're going to add the webcam again. This time what I want to do is I want to have my picture in the bottom left hand corner. So I can transition from one to the next and make the live stream a little bit more visually interesting. You can actually use this method to pop back and forth. So let's say you had one scene set up so that your image was big and the image on the table was small and another scene set up so that the table image was big and you were small. You can swap back and forth and even put in some really cool transitions if you just want to talk to your audience for a minute and if you just want folks to be able to focus on the table you can go ahead and switch views so that you're focused mainly on the table with you as a small screen in the bottom right hand corner. I like to throw a bonus on these videos from time to time and this one's kind of important. Those folks who only stuck around long enough to see how to actually set it up are to miss out on this one and it's probably going to cause them all kinds of problems in the future. Because there are so many different ways to set up the camera to do this sort of process, you may not always have your camera pointing in the optimal direction. When you go to write on the page, you can see what the problem is. No, the problem is not that I'm a lefty. The image is actually upside down and backwards, but this is a really easy fix for those that stuck around. All you have to do is right click on the second camera, then you can go to transform and you can flip horizontal or vertical or both depending upon how your image is showing up. You can't flip them both at the same time, so if you have both a horizontal and vertical flip that needs to happen, you're going to have to go in one at a time and flip it vertically and then go in and flip it horizontally like you see here. And as you can see, this corrects the image. This is a really effective use of a two camera setup for any artist out there who wants to try their hand at live streaming. If you're interested in knowing how to add a soundboard in OBS, you should check this video out right here. This channel is all about tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber. And if that's something you're into, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.